Hello, this is John Rutman from RacersEdgeBooks.com. Welcome to part five of seven on how to scale your race car, adjusting the weights. Okay, um, we're going to go right into this. Uh, the left side and rear adjustments are the first thing we're going to discuss. And there's actually only one way to change left side and rear weight percentages. And what you, what you do there is uh, you have to move or add weight to the car. Okay, examples are adding adding weight or ballast, you know, and or uh, moving the battery to a different location is what some guys will do. Some guys will actually even have two battery boxes and they'll take it from one area and one battery box and put it to the other battery box and be able to adjust their weight that way by not actually adding any additional weight to the car, but it changes the percentages. So that's something you might want to try or look into trying doing. Okay. Uh, wheel offset, um, the location of the wheel and tire in and out from the chassis um, can be used to change the left side weight as well. You know, the more backspacing on the right side and less, bas basically backspacing, I mean moving the tire in, okay, and on the right side, less backspacing, moving the tire out, will move weight from the left to the left side, excuse me, it'll move weight to the left side. Um, adding fuel will also change the left side uh, and rear weights, but be careful when you do that because uh, you need to set your level to the recommended uh, fuel level that your chassis manufacturer says, okay? Um, or the height uh, or the uh, amount of fuel that you have put in there before. You don't want to vary from that very much, okay? You can do it a little to change a little bit, but don't do it too much because you'll throw your settings way off, okay? Now, to adjust the cross weight, the only way you can change the cross weight percentages is to change the ride height. By changing cross weight, okay, you will not change left side or rear weight at all. The best way to change your cross weight is to make a small ride height adjustment at each wheel rather than one large adjustment at one wheel because you'll throw your ride height settings um, way off. Okay, When you raise the ride height at one corner, this is also referred to as putting a round a wedge in um, or putting a turn in. You're adding weight at that corner, the diagonally opposite corner also. Okay. Um, and then you're also reducing the weight at the other two corners. For an example, if you want to increase the cross weight percentage, raise the right front and left rear ride heights. Okay. So if you've got weight jacks, turn, turn a couple rounds in or turn a round in at each one of those. Okay. Turn around in at the at the front, right front and left rear, okay? And then take a half around out at the left front and the right rear, okay? So that you're keeping everything even and you're adjusting the car uh, chassis somewhat evenly so you don't mess up your ride heights, okay? And if you want to decrease, decrease the cross weight, just do the opposite of what I just said or what's on the screen, okay? Um, and you can decrease the uh, cross weight that way. Okay? Um, you just want to make sure that your ride height adjustments do not cause your ride car ride heights to severely exceed what your manufacturer's ride height settings are or what you have determined from other drivers should be the actual ride height. Okay? Uh, once you've found the desired crossed left and rear weights, record the ride heights at each wheel and all the percentages so you can reference back to it the next week when you do it and then make sure you keep very very good records of every change that you make when you're doing this because you may go too far and you might want to come back and if you don't remember how many rounds you put in or what you actually did it's kind of hard to undo it so make sure you so you write down everything okay that's very very important all right that's it for this uh this little video, um, I want to make sure that you go to our our website, www.racersedgebooks.com, where you can get a whole bunch more race car setup information. You can get a free copy of this, uh, this book on how to scale your race car, and then a few other books beyond that we'll send to you for free just for signing up, and uh, we can go from there. But check out our blog, check out our Facebook page, that type of stuff. Look around and let us know what you think, okay? Have a great day. Good luck at the track, and I'll see you again soon.